Helping your neighbor is nothing new to fire departments in Coda Territory, and the Rapid City Fire Department reinforced that idea by passing down one of their trucks. Our Miranda O'Brien has more. Whispering Pines Volunteer Fire Department and the Rapid City Fire Department have a partnership where either station will respond if the other needs assistance. The two departments have also been sharing a brush truck. We have the joint partnership where if Whispering Pines had something in their area, then we would automatically send that truck out into their area to help assist with their wildland fires. Recently, Rapid City Fire Department bought a new truck for Station 1 to better support Rapid City. The truck you can see here behind me is from Station 1 in downtown Rapid City and is now at Station 6. It's replacing the truck that's headed to Whispering Pines. We offered Whispering Pines the, the opportunity to have their truck or to take over sole possession of it um, and they were very excited. By passing down their brush truck, Whispering Pines was then able to pass on an engine to Interior, who was then able to donate two brush trucks to the scenic Volunteer Fire Department. Um, there's always room for debate on purchase or pass it on. Um, we really look at the benefit of, uh, you know, what's the greater benefit to both agencies. Carlson says having the surrounding department's help is beneficial for everyone, but it extends past just putting out the fires. We have quarterly trainings that we do. Um, a lot of the neighboring uh, uh, departments that, that attach to the city, city's boundaries, um, our guys will go out and do a, a quarterly training with them to keep those skills refreshed, but uh, uh, fresh and, and usable and flexible amongst the agencies. In Rapid City, Miranda O'Brien, CODA Territory News. On Wednesday, the Legal and Finance Committee officially allowed Whispering Pines to have the fire truck.